A margosaurus was a giant sauropod with two rows of spines down its back. The spines may have been attached to one another by skin, creating the appearance of a huge sail on its back. Scientists believe the spines on an amargosaurus could have helped defend against predators, communicate with other amargosaurus, or control body temperature. Brachiosaurus had longer amargos. Amargosaurus was a sauropod. Sauropods were four-legged. Amar Amargosaurus was a sauropod. Sauropods were four-legged herbivores known for their small heads, big long bodies, and large appetites. While Amargosaurus looked like other sauropods with its long neck and small head, it was very unique. It had two rows of tall spines down its neck and back. Amargosaurus was a sauropod. Sauropods were four-legged herbivores known for their small heads, big long bo- Science! Amargosaurus was a sauropod. Sauropods were four-legged herbivores known for their small heads, big long bodies, and l Brachiosaurus had longer front limbs than hind limbs. Many paleontologists think that it held its neck straight up like a modern giraffe to reach leaves high in the trees. Brachiosaurus, like other plant-eating animals, had broad teeth that would have been great for stripping vegetation off trees. Brachiosaurus fossils were found in both North America and Africa. This enormous sauropod was very slow moving, slower than any carnivore of its time. Brachiosaurus, like other plant-eating animals, had broad teeth that would have been great for stripping vegetation off trees. Cryolophosaurus was discovered on the southern continent of Antarctica. Today, Antarctica is extremely cold and icy, but during the age of the dinosaur, Antarctica was much warmer with lush green forest. Cryolophosaurus was a large meat-eating dinosaur that lived during the Jurassic time period. During the Jurassic, Antarctica was closer to the equator and was part of a large continent called Pangaea. Cryolophosaurus was a relatively Cryolophosaurus. Cryolophosaurus was a relatively large dinosaur that grew up to 25 feet long. It probably walked on its hind legs, had small forearms, and might have resembled Allosaurus.